So I heard and actually read that something has been passed that's basically going to penalize people with higher credit scores. And I read that and it's about as nonsensical as it gets in the mortgage world. And I don't want to like blame you, but I, I need someone to punch. So just kidding. So like, but would you help me understand the logic? First of all, did th that really go through? When does it take effect? And what on planet earth is the logic behind that? All great questions. Um, I want to give like the facts on this first and foremost, and we can share opinions as well too, because I think a majority of people, logically speaking, will, will share the same opinion that, that I have, me and you have. There was a loan level pricing adjustment, so that's how um, all rates are set based on credit score criteria, based on how much you put down, um, and then property type, okay? They adjust the rate based on those specific criteria. There was a policy put into place by FHF, FHFA, okay, under this administration to where people with higher credit scores, we're talking 740 to 780 range, are paying more in interest rate or fees than they did last year. They're not paying more than what people with lower credit scores are paying, though. That is, that is false. It was an adjustment made on the people with higher credit scores that they're paying more than they did last year. People with lower credit scores are paying actually less than they paid last year. So it's not the, the miss. You're seeing a lot of news out there that if you have a 740 credit score, I have a 660 credit score, Nick's going to be paying a higher interest rate or higher fees. That's not true. Um, it went into effect, actually, it was announced January of this year. Uh, went into effect May 1st. If you're out there shopping around, if you've been shopping around this year, lenders and investors have already worked this into their pricing. So it's not like you're going to get hit with any new crazy fees. You've already seen it and um, it's already worked into there. They're making it news now because it's just what the news does. They're going to come out and, and bring out the article and make it news. Um, my opinions, I think it's not cool to hurt people who have worked hard on their credit. Um, I, I never think that's a, a, a right idea. I do think subsidizing people who have worse credit or helping people who have worse credit make it more affordable. I don't think that's a wrong idea as well either, but it is pretty crazy to think that if you had a higher credit score last year that you're going to pay more than you would Excuse me, if you had a higher credit score this year, you would pay more than you did last year. Now, that is, is this true. just Freddie Fannie, or would this apply? Is this like a law, like for any kind of loan that's it's going on? It's just Freddie Fannie, yeah. and that's a good question when you mentioned a law um, or just how these things work. Loan level pricing adjustments have been in this industry since 2008, up and down. So the COVID years, for instance, during the pandemic, worst credit score borrowers got hit pretty hard during COVID. They made it harder in regards to fees and rate structure. So it's a constant trying to find the balance between these loan level pricing adjustments, and they're constantly changing too. We had one during COVID. What is, where are we in now? 2023, three years. They kind of switched it up to maybe subsidize what happened back in COVID. That's for other people to decide who get paid more than we do. But um, this isn't anything new. It is a big news cycle thing going on though because that's what the news does. I got it. That's super helpful. Thanks, yep. man.